Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyprus. In today's video, we will be discussing about the resequencing in Odoo 17 accounting module. So resequencing in Odoo, especially for invoice and vendor bill, refers to the process of adjusting the order of their sequence number. And this is useful in many situations such as correcting the errors, reorganizing the records and all. So if the invoice or vendor bill sequence number are out of order due to mistake, Resequencing allows you to fix the numbering and ensure it aligns with the actual order of transaction. And you might want to reorganize your invoices or vendor bill based on specific criteria like their accounting date or customer vendor. Resequencing helps to achieve this by assigning new sequence number based on the chosen criteria. So let's check how can we manage the resequencing in Odoo 17 accounting module. For that, you can just dive into the accounting module and under the customer, you can find the invoices. So here we have different invoices over here. So here you can see one of the invoices is marked in red. This is because this invoice has just re-sequenced. Uh, but the re-sequence has code gap, which means that here we haven't provided the consecutive number. So when you just look at the numbers of this invoice, here you can see that the number starts with uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and 4. But when we just resequenced, we have just provided a gap in that and uh, we have just uh, set it as 1, 0. So there we just don't follow any incrementation or uh, uh, consecutive, I mean, we don't follow any uh, consecutive number system. So that's why it is indicated in red color. So if you want to resequence particular invoice, you can choose a uh, invoice that you want to read uh, sequence and choose uh, that one and go to the action and here you can find the resequence option so we can just order it by keeping the current order or by reordering I mean reorder by the current uh, current date so we can say that uh, if we are choosing keep the current order then in Odoo's uh, invoice resequencing function it keeps the current order uh, and that allows to maintain the relative order of the selected invoice while assigning new sequence number so this scenario is uh, like you can just imagine that you have a list of invoices created throughout a month but their sequence order are out of range and uh, from this we can see that the order will assign new sequence number to the invoice while preserving their original order relative to each other and the number uh, will start from the first or you can just set the sequence number and uh, that will be incremented sequentially so now let me say that the sequence number uh, is just given over here and uh, the date preview modifications uh, is shown over here and uh, this is just created on 12th of uh, june and the sequence number is shown over here and uh, the uh, sequence number or resequence uh, also can be found over here under the after field. So let me set this as uh, 25. And if I'm just keeping it as keep the current order and let's confirm this. And you can see that now it will be indicated in red color and uh, it will keep the relative order over here. So it's 10 and uh, which is in its posted state itself. Now let's again resequence this and provide uh, a consecutive number for this invoice. So let me choose the one that we have recently created and let's again resequence. And here you can just provide it as uh, 04 and let's click on confirm. And here you can see that now the red color is just turned into black because we have just provided a consecutive number. Now you can also manage the resequences for vendor bills for that choose vendors and choose bills and let me choose the um one of the order in order to resequence this so here afterwards you can just go to the actions and click on resequence so this allows you to reorder by the accounting date so this means that uh, if you're choosing a uh, reorder by date then uh, i mean accounting date then this sorts and assign new sequence number to your invoice based on their accounting date. This means that the invoice with the earliest accounting date will receive first sequence number followed by the next earliest and so on. So here I just need to set uh, the 
uh, will sequence as one zero at last and let me yeah just give a tap on the screen and here you can see this will be the resequence after and you can just confirm so here you can see that now we have just changed and now let's create another uh, one turbine and let's find the difference how this is just going to happen now let me choose the date which is on 27 and let me create a, a new bill and let's confirm that so as we just confirm this here you can see now the other uh, bill that is uh, created or the sequence number will be followed by this if you just choose the option as a uh, I mean a uh, resequence order by accounting date so that's all about resequencing in Uru. Uh, 17 which is one of the helpful feature for managing or arranging the sequence number if we just set the sequence number out of order and that's all for today and thank you for watching the video